Hello guys and welcome to the DIY suggestion episode 1. In this video, I will test and review my new bench power supply. After a lots of research on price and quality, I purchased this power supply from banggood.com and I received the parcel from Banggood within 2 weeks. Now let me unbox the package and show you the first look of my new variable power supply. As you can see on the front side of the box, there is a min leaf branding and on the back side some other useful details like model number, power inputs and output weight which is 1.6 kg etc. Now let's open the box. So the first accessory I found in the box is an AC power cord. A DC cord with crocodile clips. the main power supply body and a user manual so let's unwrap the main body so finally here is the first look of our bench power supply Now let's quickly talk about its features. On the back of this supply, you will get a special power cord connector with fuse housing and a selector switch with 230 volt and 110 volt option. So you can select the input voltage according to your country or region. For example, select 110 volt for the US plug. Now before plug in, again make sure you have selected the correct input voltage. On the front side, you will get a display, variables for voltage and ampere selection, switch and output connectors. Now I am connecting the DC output cord. You can easily connect the both negative and positive wires by using these plastic screws. Now push this button to switch on the supply. Here from these variables you can adjust the voltage and amperes. And I have connected the two 12 volt bulbs as load with the power supply. The variables are very responsive. You can easily rotate them with your fingertips. The supply has multiple layer protection against the over voltage and short circuit. And 3 channel display shows you the output status of voltage, amperes and watts. Now let's quickly test the output voltage with multimeter and match with the display of power supply. The supply display is precisely calibrated. If you still found any variation, so don't worry, you can calibrate the display using the preset variables inside the supply. Now let's see inside and talk about the build quality. As you can see, here is a main step down transformer with two other small transformers for multiple layer protection. The main transformer and inductor both are located exactly in front of the cooling fan and the fan is temperature controlled. It means that you will never face overheating problem. On the right side you can see the display panel with voltage and amperes preset so you can easily calibrate the display. The back side of PCB is supported with an aluminium plate and the aluminium plate is connected with voltage regulators. Normally these voltage regulators causes heating problem. So here the aluminium plate is working as heat sink for these voltage regulators and the plate is also attached in front of the cooling fan in order to boost the cooling process as well as increase the efficiency and performance of the power supply. So no doubt it has a great cooling system. 
The supply is small in size and light weighted with the all options and features that I was searching. Now let me know your thoughts about this power supply in the comments below and check out the other useful information of this power supply in the video description.